In this tutorial, we're going to talk about multi-dimensional lists, or multi-lists for short. We've already used lists in previous tutorials. The most basic lists can be generated by the nodes in the sequence category. Each of these lists, random, range, and series, produces a list consisting of single values. But what makes each a one-dimensional list is the fact that each list contains just one list. In Viz, you can tell this because the last number in each set of curly brackets is zero. When multiple lists are produced, there are non-zero elements in these spots, as we'll see later. Multi-lists can become quite complex. A two-dimensional list has output consisting of two or more separate lists. In other words, a list of lists. Similarly, a three-dimensional list can be thought of as a list of lists of lists, and so on. Multi-lists become necessary when the underlying structure of data becomes complex. To demonstrate multi-lists, add a divide curve node found in the curve category. Divide curve takes a curve as input and produces a number of points along the curve as output. To see what this means, add a circle node and connect it as the curve to divide. The circle input is one object, and the divide curve output is a list of 11 XYZ coordinates. These coordinates are the locations of points evenly spaced along the circle. The reason there are 11 elements is that the number of segments is set to 10. Connect a preview node to the output to get a better look. The first set of coordinates in this list is prepended with 0, 0, 0. The second set has 0, 0, 1, and so on. As we saw in a previous tutorial, the number in square brackets is a unique identifier for the element, and these range from 0 to 10. This is a one-dimensional list. Each value inside all curly brackets is 0. Now what happens if we add another curve for this node to divide? The output will consist of additional point coordinates, so how do we distinguish between the output coordinates for the two curves? Add a line node and connect it to the divide curve node. The output list now has 11 additional coordinates. The coordinates for the line are prepended with 0, 1, which differentiates them from the 0, zeros from the circle coordinates. Each new coordinate also has its own unique identifier from 0 to 10. These two numbers in curly brackets are called the path of the multilist. The path 0, 0 corresponds to the first list of points generated along the circle and the path 0, 1 corresponds to the second list of points, those generated along the line. This is now a two-dimensional list, a list of lists. The first value inside the brackets is always 0, but now there are non-zero elements as the second value. Add an arc three points node and connect it to the divide curve node. This adds a new set of 11 coordinates, these prepended with 0, 2. This is still a two-dimensional list. We just added one more list to the list. Many Viz Pro nodes require a single-dimensional list as output. The flattened multilist node, found in the multilist category, solves this problem. Attaching the two-dimensional list to this node results in a list that contains all 33 points from all three curves. But two changes have occurred. The double number in curly brackets has been reduced to a single number and is now a one-dimensional list. And the unique identifiers, which repeated for each curve in the two-dimensional list, are now replaced with 33 unique identifiers from 0 to 32.